ESPN Sports. This is Bobcat Replay. As we near the halfway point of the 2022 conference slate, the race for the Big Sky title is long from over. Five teams still with undefeated marks in the month of October, including the team invading Greeley, Colorado today as number four Montana State takes on Northern Colorado as we welcome you high above Nottingham Field, everyone, alongside Ty Gregorek, the former defensive coordinator with this Montana State program. I'm Ben Graydon. Ashley Washburn will join us downstairs in just a couple minutes. Ty, obviously some welcoming news for Bobcat Nation this week. Tommy Malott finally back after missing the last two games. Well, it's huge, huge news for Bobcat Nation. You've got your leader, you've got a captain, and most importantly, you've got a playmaker to get the ball uh, to in the backfield. Yeah, and you talk about consistent players on the defensive side. How about Callahan O'Reilly, Bozeman's own, who's had a terrific season for Brent Vegan's squad? Well, the first word that comes to mind, Ben, is opportunistic. This unit has been nothing but sharp in the last two weeks. Seven takeaways in the last two weeks. That guy, Led by that guy right there, as you said, Bozeman native. Callahan O'Reilly's got six takeaways by himself. It's been, it's been awesome the way these guys have been flying around lately. Yeah, the Big Sky Defensive Player of the Week last week following that tremendous performance in that Idaho State win. For Northern Colorado, no doubt running back Elijah Dotson was their biggest addition heading into 2022. The former two-time first-team All-Big Sky selection now calls Freely home. We've been talking about this guy a long time in this league. He's been making waves since his freshman year in 2018. He is their leading rusher. He is their leading receiver. He is awesome in the return game. This kid is special in this league. Yeah, no doubt. Obviously, you saw him play during his time at Sacramento State, a talented back. And again, like we mentioned earlier, still a ways to go before we decide the Big Sky title, but five teams still with goose eggs in the loss column. Montana State 3-0. Northern Colorado, though, looking to bounce back after falling to Sacramento State after starting the conference slate with a victory over Idaho State. Bobcat Replay kicks off with the first quarter right after this. Let's get things started with the first quarter on Bobcat Replay. Well, Lott looks to throw again, slings it in and out of the hands of Willie Patterson. So Blake Glesner on to try to give the Bobcats an early lead, a 51-yarder. And a big boot there from Glesner. Makes it a three-zip Bobcat lead. Handoff going to Dotson, bouncing to the outside. And down the fringe, Dotson to the 20. One tackle to beat, and he is gone. Elijah Dotson, 58 yards into the blue turf. And Northern Colorado on the board with a big run. Well, sadly, that's been Montana State's defense MO. That is the 51st. The 51st explosive play this season. When I when I say explosive play, Ben, I'm talking 12-yard rush or more, or 15-yard pass or more. So as opportunistic as I was talking about this defense being in terms of getting the football away, they have got to somehow limit the big explosive plays against them. Yeah, I remember the first couple games of the season. That's something that really Brent Vegan really harped on is limiting those explosive plays, but. Elijah Dotson, again, two-time all-first-team Big Sky selection while at Sacramento State. And that, by the way, the longest rush this season by Northern Colorado. Only three receiving yards for Montana State so far as they'll go to the air. Lofts it up. And a flag thrown. And did he come down with it? to go make that play. I can't wait to see the replay. It looked like he came down with one hand. That's what it looked like from up here. Yeah, how about that catch? Just brought it into a, to, to his second hand. There. Nice job by Willie. A 29-yard reception by Willie Patterson. In the pistol. Play action. McCaffrey. Pressure coming from the backside. Lofts it up. And that one hauled in. Travis Graham. Great name for a great defensive player as McCaffrey goes down. Blake Heal with the sack. As the clock will wind down on this, this first quarter. A strong start by Northern Colorado, but they'll face a third and long on the other side as we begin quarter number two. Get social with Bobcat fans and follow MTN Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
Now, here's the second quarter on Bobcat Replay. Northern Colorado, 8 of 13 on fourth downs this season, coming into this matchup with Montana State. McCaffrey over the middle, finds a wide open target, and Dotson, but not enough to pick up the first down, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Excellent fourth and long defense. But a flag thrown back at the 42 yard line. This is probably the best look right here. After review, the ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number 10 is disqualified. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal, first down. Here into the second quarter. Decent, ga decent game plan by UNC so far, and, 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 and frankly, a little sloppy by the Bobcats. Lost it up back in the end zone. Did he haul it in? Yes, he did in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Northern Colorado. And it's going to Noah Ford, who comes down with a big catch. What a play by Dylan McCaffrey. Staying in the pocket. He's going to get hit. He's got pressure. Unbelievable catch in the back of the end zone now to take what looks like it's going to be a 14-3 lead. And that will be Noah Ford's first touchdown reception of the season. Able to get one foot down. New set of downs here for the Bobcat offense. Play action, Malott with a strike over the middle. And he's got Derek Snell. And Snell brought down by his ankles. A big reception right there. Give me the nickname. First and 10 from the 15, Malott. Sumner dancing, finding his way through a couple holes and tripped up inside the five. You got Fitzgerald as well as Lane Sumner deep in the red zone. Malott rolling and he's got RJ Fitzgerald. Touchdown, Montana State as the fullback gets the Bobcats into the end zone for the first time today. True 22 personnel, two tight ends, two backs with RJ Fitzgerald as the fullback. He started the season with zero touchdowns, Ben, and now he's got three in the last four weeks. Yeah, Keep feeding him the rock. Two on the ground, and now he's got one through the air as well. I know my boy Jax at home is loving that. That's his, that's his next level coach in the spring. He loves himself some Coach RJ. And it's Glessner's PAT is good. Let's miss that. Ty, Ty, Ty's not a tall guy. I mean, he, he made his living and, and earned his keep as a nickel. Now he's a safety. Pressure right. comes down. Sebastian Valdez, who else? One of the top sack men in the big sky. Yeah, this, this guy's awesome. I mean, he, he, he's with, with that play right there, he already came into the game with more sacks than, than UNC's entire defense. He, he, he is a war daddy up front. You got, you got to love him. Yeah, again, like you mentioned, Sean Chambers doing an excellent job filling in for those two games. Really, two and a half games. Right. Malad facing pressure, and he's got Willie Patterson on a slant. Patterson takes a licking, stays on his feet, and gets beyond the 30. By the defensive end. Sumner leaving the backfield, empty backfield now. Fakes the pitch. Malad spins out a run. Malad. Getting to the 15. And we got another injured Bobcat down on the field. First and 10 for Tommy Mallott. Lofts it up. Jump ball. Who has it? And ruled a touchdown. Willie Patterson. A 16-yard TD reception by Patterson. Yeah, you look at Willie P. says, no, I got it. That's mine. Well, well, we saw one official raise his hands in the touchdown formation. But they're still scrapping for the football. There's, yeah, they're still going at it. Willie says he's got it. Now we got a penalty flag.
the ruling on the field was touchdown. Yep. Willie Peep came to play today. He's had some fantastic plays. And, and something I want to point out too, you know, because 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 of Montana State's rushing attack and the great job the offensive line doing. I'll say this, and I told Coach Udy this on our call this week. The perimeter blocking by the wide receivers has been exceptional this year. I know he, I know he's harping on them on, on Sundays and Mondays as the really things he's the doing field, wrong. As a result of the play, is a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense number five, his first. And this year has decided to take that penalty and force it on the kickoff. Yeah, you look right there. Cameron Murray for a second looked like he had a pick, but then Willie Patterson just comes in and kind of just. Coach Ed McCaffrey here. You guys are chasing three at this half. What did you see in that first half, especially, you know, it just they just got that momentum right now. Yeah, I thought offensively we played really well uh, right up to the end there. Obviously, uh, you can't have penalties. Um, and so, but we, we had some great catches that kept drives live, got a fourth down. Uh, defensively, I thought we were doing a really good job. A couple controversial calls there. They gave them first downs, allowed them to continue drives, and then we just let up some explosives. That's the difference in the game. Montana State's obviously nationally ranked, and you guys are only, you know, three-point different right now. What do you guys need to do in the second half to get back to where you were in that first quarter? I think much of the same and a little bit more. There we go. Thanks, Coach. Ashley, as always, appreciate it. Yeah, you saw it there. Northern Colorado looking for their biggest win of the season. Down three to the number four team in the land, Willie Patterson. With a strong first half, a couple big plays, and a couple big plays not only offensively but defensively from Northern Colorado. Halftime coming up here from Greeley. Take coverage of the Cats with you. Download our app for your favorite mobile device today. Time for the third quarter on Bobcat Replay. All right, Coach Vegan here. Quite a few penalties in that first half, and you guys haven't really experienced that at all this season. What adjustments did you make, and what did you see in that first half? Well, we just got to dial it in. I, I, I think we uh, we got off to a slow start. We didn't finish a couple drives offensively. They make a big run. They gain some momentum. It took us a while to get it back. We take a lead, so we just got to build off of that. We got to have a great start to this second half. You know, um, we've generally been a disciplined team, and that's got to – we got to show that second half. Speaking of that slow start, you did answer back with two scoring drives in that second quarter. What adjustments did you make there? And what do you guys need to do this second half to close it off? I think we made plays. We we drive the ball, drove the ball a couple times and just didn't finish drives. I, I you know we haven't punted yet on on, on offensively, so I, you know we're we're doing okay. It's just finishing drives. It's made, making plays, um, counting on one another. Awesome, thanks, coach. Ashley, great stuff as always. As we get the third quarter underway, as. Marky Johnson will let it fly out of the end zone. One good photo sent into us. The fans here at Greeley taking in some Bobcat football. Third and six. Montana State five of seven on third down. Malott, heavy pressure, slings it wide open. Willie Patterson. Patterson already with a big day. Turning on the Jets, and he's gone. 37-yard TD reception. Willie Patterson with his second touchdown of the day. Ben, you know what I think that's worthy of, Ben? Ben Champ here. Whammy! Wow! Willie Peterson, have a day. Patterson, good night. Again, what an afternoon for Willie Patterson. And the big thing here, showing off that speed on that slant, and... And he was off to the races. We need to see it as, again, Sean Chambers. R.J. Fitzgerald in motion. Chambers will now look to throw. Lobs it up. Willie Patterson, a trio of touchdowns. Have yourself a day, this time with a 26-yard TD reception from Sean Chambers. Light the candle, Willie P. and Sean Chambers. Good to see you in the ballgame. Nice throw, my man. By the way, the last time a Bobcat receiver has caught three touchdowns, you got to go all the way back to 2010, Julius Lloyd against Sacramento State. So, humongous afternoon here in Greeley for Willie Patterson. Sean Chambers back in the game for Montana State. 
Looking for a little deja vu this time. Jump ball, and that one is picked off in the end zone. Looks like it's going to be Uriah Hudson coming down with the INT for Northern Colorado. Yeah, it's a nice play by Hudson. Probably not a great throw by Chambers, though. Behind him, just wasn't a, wasn't a good clean throw. And this time trying to find Cleveland Thomas. I shouldn't say it was a good clean. I mean, he had the time. The pocket was good. I know there was a little pressure coming late. But it just, just an off-target throw by Sean Chambers. As that will end the third quarter here in Nottingham Field. Montana State exploding here in the third quarter. Their largest lead of the day, 30-14, to 14, looking to remain undefeated in Big Sky play. There's more coverage of the Bobcats online anytime at montanasports.com. Get ready for the fourth quarter on Bobcat Replay. Obviously, this offense is just struggling to get something going. And then in the backfield, and that's part of the reason why well, this Montana I, State defense. I was just going to say, it took a little while for the Montana State defense to settle in. They've obviously done so since. Ben Seymour right there to bring him down in the backfield. Just a zone play. They, they left the backside on block. Nice job by him. Good technique. Tackle for loss. Much man covered. Fourth and ten. One for four on fourth down today for Northern Colorado. Pressure again coming. McCaffrey hit. Able to get rid of it, but a turnover on downs. That D line. One of your favorites. Nolan Askelson bringing the pressure. Yeah, it, it's uh, the D line did their part, but yeah, number 34, Nolan Askelson. I feel like, I feel like I'm just talking about him the whole game every game <laughs> now. But you know, I love the young man, and again, a guy that just is loving football again, loving football because he's healthy. You know, getting ready for next week, boy, that's going to be a big game, and you know, Bobcat Stadium is going to be rocking, and that one is picked off. Ty Okada, not only with 10 tackles, but comes down with a pick. McNeese State and Elijah Elliott really, really showed out in that game against Eastern Washington. Sean Chambers, the FCS leader in touchdowns. Does he have another one? Yes, he does. Sean Chambers. Familiar territory. Puts up six again for Montana State. Well, I'd say I'd say they'd review it to see if his knee down, but I don't know if there's been any reviews today except for uh, to disqualifying Brody Greeby on um, a malicious, just vicious uh, we hit with the crown of his head, I guess. But anyway, Sean gets another touchdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's in. It looked like across the plane. Absolutely. Thirty-seven, fourteen, the final. Number four, Montana State takes down Northern Colorado as we go down to the field with Ashley Washburn, who's standing by with Willie Patterson after that big day. Yeah, Willie Patterson, or I think we should say the Willie P show after today's performance. What was clicking for you? The quarterbacks, man, and the O line, all of our offense. We kind of came to a slow start, but then we started throwing that ball, getting it loose, and then everything went down right from there. Your story has been one that we talked about in the broadcast of, you know, dropping that pass against Albany in 2019. And you said, I will never drop a ball again or do anything in your power can yeah. to see it pay off today. What does that mean? It means the world. You know, it's finally that work that I put in throughout these six years of college football is finally coming to fruition, you could say. So it feels really good finally for that work to be coming out. You know, you've got your family up in the stands. Your mom is excited. I'm seeing her taking pictures everywhere. What do you think of what meant for them to be here at this game today? It's actually amazing because this is my first game back from my last collarbone injury in 2019, and I didn't get to play well, and I wanted to make sure when I leave Greeley, I'm going to leave my mark here. So I, I, they know it's this is – we've been dreaming for this, finally getting a chance to really ball out and see it go crazy. So I'm, I'm super excited. And last question for me, speaking of balling out, you had some insane catches, and I remember a conversation a couple weeks ago. You told me some of those catches that seem uncatchable, it's 50% you, 50% your late brother Ryan. I know he was watching down on this performance today. How proud do you think he is? I think he's ecstatic up there, running around, jumping around, tell everybody, look at the TV, everybody he's up there with. You know, even my grandparents up there, like, they're all tuned in watching this show happen. So I think they're so proud of me and just, just having the time of their life seeing 11 flourish again. Well, you should be proud of yourself. I know you want to go celebrate with your team, so thanks, Willie. Montana State 37, Northern Colorado 14. For Ty Gregorak, Ashley Washburn, and the rest of our terrific MTN crew, I'm Ben Creighton saying so long from Nottingham Field. We'll see you next week back in Bozeman for a huge top 10 
FCS Showdown. So long, everyone.